Okay, so let's look at the influences behind one of our Spring 15 themes, uh, Greenhouse Glamour, mm -hmm. where we combined basically florals and plants and everything that's mm -hmm. growing around us with the urban city life. Yeah, so we're thinking of those ways of how can that happen and we're starting to see it in architecture, even more allotment spaces or green spaces emerging in cities. We have all those lovely verdant wall projects and there was that uh, lovely living sculpture project at, in, at the Mexican Design Week where if we say that okay let's create scul sculpture but if we make it out of plants it becomes living sculpture mm. and it scul just keeps growing and developing as uh, time goes on. And of course we already have in New York's Meatpacking District that incredible bridge which has the garden in the middle of the really urban city. I think everyone loves those uh, Thomas Heatherwick uh, projects. And he's got the new plans to build the one in London. Exactly, it's fantastic. And actually a lot of German cities are already very much more garden oriented. When you visit there you have already this feeling that there are so many more plants mm, bringing that green space in yeah and exactly. i believe in retail they've already started to do that as well oh yeah absolutely like we love the agnes b store at the k11 yes. mall in hong kong where they have a florist in the apparel store which yeah, is a really yeah. nice concept yeah we definitely like to connect those retail concepts then uh, into what's happening out there with the consumer and with the all these new exciting concepts because it's a great way to attract the consumer so everyone can read all about us in our spring 15 forecasts <laughs>